Yeah, that's the way it was. Evermore shall be. You know, back in the day, I was living in this apartment on the east side, the Upper East Side, the Big Apple. And the janitor invited me to go up on the roof and smoke some weed. But I positively and politely declined. I can't deal with high maintenance guys. I visited my new friend in his new apartment, and he told me to make myself at home. So I threw him out. I mean, I really hate having guests around. Well, and well is a very deep subject, and sometimes I get caught in between there and ground level. You ever wonder, instead of serious spy gear, why they used a balloon to cross the country? I suppose it was inflation. Well, I was singing in a friend's small apartment. It was a little flat. Crime never pays as well as politics. Sometimes I go out and commit crimes just to feel wanted. If you're not using commas, is that a crime? I mean, it would probably result in long sentences. I always wanted to steal a newsman. Why would you want to do that, Airman? Because I think it's a perfect crime. I mean, how are they going to report it? Speaking of crime, suicide's a crime. It's destruction of government property. And political parties, you know how they hate organized crime. They don't like competition. I know I don't. I don't need. Oh, yeah, just give me a tin can and a barrel hoop and a stick. Yeah, dust on the floor. I mean, that's what pleases me. Just give me something to occupy myself in between my usual misery. Ever since I was born, my life has felt surreal, like a dream in those amusement park mirrors. Reflections of reflections of reflections of reflections. Wanted to know what's real and unreal in a multi-dimensional world. Always been the question, do thoughts and intentions make stuff happen, or is it the other way around? For sure, we're all connected in this vibration, a scheme of particles, neutrons, neutrinos, fuzzy lines, and appearances, dissolving and reappearing ever since I was a mere lad. The world appeared to be very much unreal. I live in a land of make-believe, somewhere in between. 